I'm going to stop it now. I think I'll reach my goal. Seeing the second bloom, bloom blown up. Let me see all sides of it. Papa Bloom is a 36 inch I had for a while. And I'm laying on a yellow balloon that has not been blown up, still alien. Just read this video, I'm kind of spray now. Just want to do this video. because I'm almost ready. Walk them to my face. It's kind of hot too, but... making sure that the balloon won't um, the tower making sure that no friction between the balloons so it keeps from friction so the balloon can blow up on the tower so the balloon so no friction and I tie a string on a balloon one before I got on it so that way the balloon is set where I want it to be. I think I'll try it different, have it blown up a different way next time. Because I couldn't see the size of it, but I knew from the mirror that I'm looking in the back and I can see that it was going the way I wanted it, at least one side. I'm going to make it out of there for a while. Please have three on my PC and let me take a rest. You want to talk about the spin-off to Kirk? You want to talk about the mother of all challenges? You want to talk about the frustration of high fans? Well, I can't get my feet on the bed post. Announcing the Southwest Airlines Center with flights all over the country starting at $79 one way. Hurry and book now only at southwest.com. My arm's kind of hurt. This exact spot. Just holding on a bed post. And and what else to do? I like to, to go out a little more faster, but I can't. It's not going that way. I'll probably cut this off or put it into two versions. Going up and then taking it out. You know, my prayers. Next time I go to San Francisco on the beach, I talk to a guy, I tell him everything, and he tells me, yeah, you can go with me. You know what I mean? He doesn't have to do all the tricks. Just I mean, you know what it feels like to be on the board, and then you know what the kite feels like to be open water. 
I guess I just want to be with someone. I just thinking about, I want to know what it feels like to be on the board, the sail keeping us straight, uh, and just being with him. You know what, you know what it feels like to be in open water? I mean, thinking about it is you see, you see things from the beach, you see him doing, do, doing things in open water. And then something else, I can see what it's like. You know, I can experience, in, in, in some sense, Ready. So I guess like exercise. I guess I was thinking about is holding on to him, trusting him, having faith, knowing that he knows what he's doing, to have my arms around him, his body, to just know what the kite's doing, you know, it's like the kite's moving us fast. Knowing when he set the kite to move away from the beach, it's no more going back to the beach. I have to stay with him and trusting him. And then also saying thank you God, finally he, you know, he decided to, you know, God moved the mountain so I can experience this new fun. But I can experience what he's doing and what other people are doing. And maybe later on, in our day, maybe, if I even get a phone number, I can call him and say, Thank you for. Now I'm going to go with you. You know what it feels like. Maybe he'll like me being with him. And maybe he want me to go with him again. It's like. I, like, I mean, the only way that I can say thank you is to hear that again, is take me with him again. You know, you know what I mean. It's been difficult to find a way to make sure I don't fall off. I want all the air to get out of this room. Guess I'm meant to say it's harder stay out of the room because you know it's dangerous and you fall from side to side and I'm holding my tightness to stay on. I mean it, it's somewhat a push but I think I can make it. I don't think I'll fall off. You know in some sense it's kind of crushing that I really need to put bungee cord Around our legs. I mean, I, mean, I think this is tied down to his body, maybe that's more important. Because the moves he make is if it's his whole knee. So in some sense, what he does with his body, whatever he makes moves, my body moves the same way. And so, I love the, I mean, Let's say he does something. I would say, I love you doing it. I know it was a little scary you're doing it, but I love it because you did something to, you know, like when I get back on the beach, I remember why that trick was interesting. How you did that with me on you. How cool. And then thinking about 
How cool that you made a kite lift, the, lift us up in the air. I made the board off the water and land back down on the water. How cool. I mean, showing the power of the kite, I think that's why I want to be with him. I want to experience the power of the kite with him on the water. You know, I just, I guess they, it's wonderful feeling to be close to someone for the joy and experience of a new sport. You know, it's something you never tried. I mean, never been on the water, out, out in the open water, far away from the beach, moving side to side. You know, the way they do it is they move side to side. You know, they move to one beach and now beach to side. You know, like walking distance to, you know, in that case. <laughs> for the cut and keep us up. I mean straight up. How wonderful the kite's moving us in the water. It's so wonderful. To thank the guy later on for saying thank you for sharing this experience with me. I never knew what it was all about, what you feel and what other people feel being on the water. And things you do with the, with the ball and the sail. With the kite, I mean. I'm saying thank you for giving that experience. I'm hoping maybe it would be nice one day I'll see him again. You know, I'm going to say his place and say, You are so fun to be with you. Thank you for opening up your life with me. I tell you the truth, I wish we could do it again because it was so wonderful experience. I enjoyed my time with you. I want to give a call and say thank you for allowing me to go with you, take me on your board, believing that nothing will happen to me. That's what I really want God to do, to give him confidence that taking me will be okay. That I have shown him the bungee cords, that, uh, that I'll stay on to him. You may say it's more important to have our bodies locked together. You know, the clip on my belt to his belt, maybe it's not enough, but I think it is. What I was thinking too is, I have a glove that has a clip to keep both gloves together. So before we go out to sea, I'll have them clipped together so I can't, I can't take, take my hands off his body. And so that way, I just have to stay with him. See, I know when the, the wind starts taking us out to sea, he can't really take us back, can't make a full circle or something. So I know I have to stay with him and trust in him. Trusting that he knows how to keep making sure that uh, we stay straight. He knows the power of the sail. He knows how to handle the wind. So I'm so just trusting him. You gotta trust the person who's driving the wheel, like driving the car. You just there uh, is taking, taking, taking the ride, enjoying the experience. You know, being in the back of him. And I had to show, I mean, just, you know, say, oh, I could try this out, see, see this work. You know, in a small scale. And then seeing, can it work? 
I don't know. I didn't see how a lot of God could go on him. Start, start you know, getting to do things that maybe some people won't want to do. You know, taking faith. I guess they just throw a circle out in the air. He knows how to land back down, where to put his body in, in the board to land. So he know, he know how to handle things. It's all timing. Mm -hmm. 